Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you how to display the data using a login form. Uh, for example, if you want that user, when user enters their roll number and password and click on the submit button, so the whatever the database you have, they are able to see that. Okay. So for example, I have the database. This is my database. I have roll number, password, name, class and result so this is a student database so what i want when the student enter their roll number and password so they will get these records okay so for making this first of all make one form as i have made earlier so this is the form in which i have the roll number password and the submit button okay so first of all for making the connectivity we will first include the PHP connection first we will connect with the database guys if you don't know how to connect with the database so must watch my previous videos ok so now select the database okay so as i shown you i have the database called stud okay so this is a student database so i will include that called stud and semicolon okay so now what i want when the student will click on the submit button then they are able to see the record so we will give a condition here if condition I have used the post method here as you can see so that's why I am using the dollar underscore post if you have used the get method so you can use get also so now write the submit okay so we want to fetch the data so we will first of all include these names into a variable So both of these we will take into a variable called roll number is equal to and this will be in password. So we have created a two variable called roll number and password. So now we want to create uh, we want to show the data. So for that's for we will execute a MySQL query. A uh, double quote, we will write the select statement. Select star form. We have the table called records. So select star form records. And <coughs> and here we will give the where uh, where conditions where the roll number is equal to this which will be entered by the uh, student and the password which are in, uh, entered by the user so so for giving the where clause here uh, for giving the where condition you have to give here the single colon single colon and under that double colon and two dots okay and now write this password is equal to single column okay and then semicolon now we will take this into a variable called dollar underscore SQL okay 
सो गाइस सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट से आप जितने भी डेटा को फेच करते हैं वो एक एरे के फॉर्म में होता है सो फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग दैट वी विल यूज वाइल and there is one inbuilt function called mysql underscore fetch underscore array and here we will give the reference of this sql statement okay and we will now print our name and uh, roll number and password so for printing in php echo functions are used so we will give this also a variable Uh, instead of writing the whole code, we will just refer these variables. Result and into a single column, we want to display the whole number. So guys, this is this dot is a concatenation operator. So let's check there is any error or not. So there is no error. So what we want when the student will click on the submit button, then it goes to the next page and the record will be displayed to them. So for that we will give uh, one action to our form. Okay, so here we will give one action. A reference to test dot php page. Okay, so we have given one action, one reference to the uh, PHP form. That means when the user will create, uh, well, the user will enter the submit button, then it goes to the test dot php page. Okay, so we have created the test dot php uh, form also. So here, first of all, we will include uh, the PHP connection. So I'm just copying from here. So first of all, we will uh, include these two. Okay. And in and in test dot PHP, uh, we will create one HTML page. Okay. and in the body tag we will uh, create one php file and here we will paste that select statement code okay so for displaying the data as i told you use the while loop okay so while okay so now what will happen we will when the user will click on the submit button so on the next page called test.php he is getting their records okay so as we have the roll number 1001 and password is 12345 so let's check yes as you can see Uh, it is displaying on the same page so something wrong test.php okay so enter the roll number and uh, password so as you can see that this is the next page test.php and you are dis uh, it is displaying the records okay so there are various ways to display the records you can uh, display the records in a table form also so for displaying the records in a table form first of all what you have to do you have to create one table here okay in between the while loop you have to create one table
ओके सो गाइस व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट यू हैव टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज मैनीडेटरी टू क्लोज द वाइल्ड लूप मैनीडेटरी कि आपने अगर वाइल्ड लूप ओपन किया है तो उसे क्लोज करना भी मैनीडेटरी तो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम यहाँ पे पी एच पी का एंड uh, करेंगे और टेबल के बाद हम एक नए पी एच पी ओपन करेंगे ओके okay? और इसकी जो क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट है वो हम उसके अंदर रखेंगे ओके सो इससे क्या होगा कि आपका जो रिकॉर्ड है वो टेबल uh, के अंदर शो होगा ओके सो हेयर वी विल so here yeah, just we are making one table so हमने यहाँ पर एक table बना ली है okay so first row में name and second में class and third में result दिखाना चाहते हैं okay सो सेकेंड टी डी में हम यहाँ पर लिखेंगे पी एच पी कोड इको डॉलर तो यहाँ पर हमने रिजल्ट यूज किया है तो हम लिखेंगे डॉलर रिजल्ट यहाँ पर सिंगल कोट में नेम सेमी कॉलम सो लाइकवाइज हम सब में लिखेंगे सब में कॉपी कर लेता हूँ मैं ओके एन यहाँ पर नेम चेंज कर देता हूँ इसका नेम जो है वो है रिजल्ट ओके इसका जो नेम है वो है ओके सो सेव कर लेते हैं एंड चेक करते हैं तो वन डबल जीरो वन पासवर्ड इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड ओके सो लेट्स एंटर द रोल नंबर एंड पासवर्ड दैट इज वन जीरो टू थ्री एंड वन टू एट फाइव वन जीरो टू थ्री एंड वन टू एट फाइव सो हेयर यू कैन सी द डेटा ओके so for example if you want to give a logout option also so just go on to the uh, test.php and in the below of your table uh, use the one anchor tag and give the logout and here you can give the reference of your uh, login page okay so just check again enter Okay, so there is option of logout. Click on it. Okay, so guys, this is the video of login connectivity. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thank you.